Hi friends, I want to say something about SurgeonCut.com. Lot of doctors, surgeons, dental surgeons, other medical professionals world over have been regularly asking us for videos that YouTube doesn't like to show to people because it has a lot of blood content and it's the way we do surgeries. So we've got this website now up and about. You can subscribe. You can learn how we do these surgeries exactly. No editing, but in good clarity, 4K clarity. So all the best and thank you. Right, so you want to do both the jaws and the nose, is it, in one go? Yes. Okay. Straight. Okay. This needs to go in. Yes. So, you only want me to correct the asymmetry or because this opportunity mm -hmm. is there for us to do a surgery anyways, we can get the proportions of the face better? Yeah. We can do that. Because then you know what, this chin is a little bit tilting up, it's mm -hmm. too broad. Right. So we can get the chin a little narrow, a little bit down, a little bit mm -hmm. forwards. And this can go inwards and backwards and have that angle. Right. That okay. means we're going to do work from the entire here to there. Right. This side, very minimal work, mm -hmm. like hardly anything because it's quite nice. Maybe I would not do much posterior to this, but the chin is also a little bit tilted like this, you know. So from here on here, we have to work right. on the mandible, okay? Nose is um, straightforward, I mean. And, and also point. this side, mm -hmm. yeah, we can give you. This side also there's some swelling. Okay. So we can reduce a little bit swelling here, mm -hmm. so that this face and this becomes symmetrical. Okay. So you want a very pointy nose? Uh, you, you, we can give you. Because you have thin skin, we can manage. And, uh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, because I was not so confident, so uh -huh. I didn't pursue that field, I just took a stop and I pursued my engineering right now. So, I'm doing good in my uh, technical field as well. Uh -huh. But I do have contacts here and it's just because my face was not perfect. Even I did one uh, album with T-series. Then after I felt like, no, I have to do some work on my face and then I... <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, see, don't stop this for that. Continue that, you know, see no one is perfect, nothing is a perfect face, nothing is a perfect nose, beauty is an eye of the beholder, all these are vague things. You can augment your aesthetics, we can improve the way you look, you're already beautiful, so don't have to say stop it, like put a full stop, put some colon, so keep doing that and then we take care of this also. Alright, this we can do now, so let me write down all that we've discussed before I forget. I came all the way from Aurangabad, uh -huh. so I started my journey yesterday, uh, around 11, 11 uh -huh. I left my city, then uh, landed Pune, then I was having a flight, connecting flight, Pune, Chennai, Chennai, Trivandrum. Oh my and god. Trivandrum to here by bus. That's such a long way to do it, but can't you just go to Mumbai and fly directly? Uh, there were no flights. Uh -huh. So within time, 11th and 10th, 11th, uh -huh. and they back, they return one. So Pune is nearby, uh, so okay. Mumbai is far enough. So then you have to drive along. Yeah, but it's fine. I've been waiting for this moment since two to three years. So long? To, because it took a lot to convince my family members that I do have defect in my face. There's no defect, I mean, slight no. asymmetry and all of this. No? Like, can't but call it, it a defect. It really, uh, it really reflects on camera. Okay, not for the this open eye, but of course when I come mm. on camera, all my defects goes. Well, I think you shouldn't use the word defects. <laughs> it's just some, you know, minor. Uh, Correction. Uh, it's not like a defect. And about nose, they they are not uh, uh, like convinced fully about nose that I am not going to tell them about my nose that I am doing. Uh, this but they will see the difference. Yeah, they will see. Of but course, your mom will notice it. Of course, they 
you're gonna notice it. And then, but right now they are just uh, opposing me for that. Just go for your jawline because you you are like insisting this from many years. But about nose level, why you need like it's unnecessary. To feel. But I am. I'll be. More if you happy. feel so, then you can give wait for some more time and then get it done again also. No, I can't. I can't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Come down again and wait for your appointment, especially because. These uh, all your staff just reply through WhatsApp. They don't re even receive a call. And uh, WhatsApp replies I get after 15 days, 8 days, and just a one or two words. That's it. <laughs> no, we're quite prompt in replying. I have I've changed my phone recently, but I, I can show you my chat down to the line uh, 7 to 8 months. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. But yeah, yeah, but we don't generally take phone calls because you know whatever we say it's not stored mm -hmm. then future that becomes an issue that's the only reason I have told them not to do that so when you send it back then there's record for us to go back to look and things like that right and in person meeting is different than definitely this is the best way of doing it because whatever we might do a video consultation and anything else those are just adjuncts so first of all right Tripti we need to take your scan Yeah. I did concern few doctors huh. in Pune. Okay. Because uh, of course you were there in the village, but I got <laughs> to or just go uh, nearby. Huh. So I was I am in IT profession. I was in Pune, but last from two years I am working from home, so I am at home now. So this huh. uh, last month I did have this because I think this this if if they had a video consultation, then I thought to have this with me to share with you. So, I just um, so this will actually be enough uh, for the nose, right. but for the jaw, mm -hmm. what happens is, see, I need to do measurements. Okay. So, like how many millimeters? Three mm -hmm. millimeter, yaan se, yaan se, eight millimeter, four millimeter. So, I need to take the scan on our machine, and I'll show you how that's more uh, for the nose. This is enough for me. Okay. But we're going to do both together. Then I need the scan. Uh, otherwise, this is enough for the nose. So you don't have any breathing issue. The septum no, looks no, pretty no, good. No, no. It's just a cosmetic uh, thing we're looking at. Even I wanted to fix my teeth, but I thought to just visit you first and then I tried uh, go for the dental treatment. So I just uh, kept it. Get that. Get it done later on. Later on, yeah, definitely. Because there's already a lot we have, have to do on this part. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you um, how this, you know, this is actually a software. Mm. So the software that's there in the system does a lot of work on this scan. Mm. So it gives me angles, it gives me measurements in millimeters and things like that, which aid in my planning. Okay, right. This gives the anatomy, mm. but it doesn't help me so much. I'll just show you an example for another patient maybe. So you get a better idea why I asked for that. This is a patient who's undergone, I showed you, a lot of procedure with us. She's leaving us today. Okay. And, uh, she's again a Maharashtra, this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she is. Probably not very far from where you are. And she's a very beautiful girl too. Okay. Very, very bold one. Okay. She's convinced her parents and come and she looks gorgeous now. You want to meet her? Mm -hmm. She's a good friend of mine. Sanjana hai maa? Ki chali gai? She was. She just left today. She uh, came along with her parents. Correct. Uh, I met her. She's from Kolhapur, right? No. Somewhere like that. Uh, she should do this nose fixing. Huh? Uh, I, I I met her. Yeah, we did a full. Uh, She's very old. Uh, yeah, I was asking her like how you came to know about this. So she was telling her friends' experiences too. Her friends told her. And I searched you from YouTube. <laughs> uh, best uh, this uh, maxillofacial surgeon in India. So <laughs> you, you did Google say that? I don't yeah. think so. Really? That's not true. That is true. It came. In, I don't. I didn't think it comes like that.
which one? Yeah, so see now, this is what we need. But now look at this. Now let's say I have it this like this. I'll tell you what this software does. So I'm going to go to another view. I'm just going to show you. Now see what this will do for me. So for example, I want to know the length of this, okay? So I'll show you this one second. But this is not the exact precise measurement. So that's why this helps. Now for the nose, I don't do any measurements. In terms of what we have to do, it's only the surgical planning. But for jaw, I need to do this kind of thing. So this is useful. And when I take this for the jaw, the nose also comes in the same thing. So this is why I say I don't need this. Here, I, 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 how will I measure? Now, I can see if there's a defect or a deformity or a fracture or a tumor or a cyst, I can see. But if I want to know the thickness of the bone here, how will I find out on this? Here, I can find anything. This is just a software actually, the same thing that you take me feed it here. That's why I request patients to take it here. And so this you got to get it done now, today itself. Okay. And I'm here for uh, my return flight is on 18. And that's super quick. That I asked those people only. Like, I but you may not have confirmed for all the procedures. See, one procedure is alright, now you want uh, quite a few. Everything adds up. No, you can't go on 18th if you want all the procedures. I'm serious. Today's already what? One week is not there. Yeah. Anyways, let's go step by step. First, see, I've written all that you need. So, I've in fact mentioned only one side, okay? Because the costing will be less. I will do a little bit here, but I've not mentioned. So, set angle, one side. Buckle pad fat, this side, only one side. And this is the genioplasty jaw sculpting. That's this full part. And then the rhinoplasty will be Okay, this full part will be a much more pointed and will increase, Yes, right? will increase the vertical height also mm -hmm. because it comes like a up like this. Okay. It does, it should. I have like this uh, scar. Uh, scar. That's fine. I don't think it's visible. So uh, it will be more, more? The height will be more little bit mm -hmm. and the angulation will be more. I'm already having a long face. No, you're not having a long face. You're having a proportional face. It's not like you're having a long so face. I just felt like if we increase this. Little bit we're talking about, like three, four millimeters. But I'll tell you on the. I mean, let me go through your scan and then I'll tell you correctly okay. how many millimeters will look nice. See, because that gives me a much more clearer picture. Take okay. it. So he'll tell you the costing for all of this. So then once you know the costing, uh, then you decide on the surgery for time. I mean, that mostly will be tomorrow earliest. Yeah, day after. Tomorrow I'll try my He's best. Trying. Yeah, tomorrow definitely, most likely. In and this plastic, you don't have to much do anything, right? I'm not touching my bone. Uh, we have to do your bone. Bone? Yeah. I thought it's all about muscles here. No, there are no muscles in the nose. The muscles only here, the base. Okay. Here it's all bone, then there's cartilage, uh -huh. and then there's soft tissue. Hi. Hello everyone, here we have um, a very sweet patient of ours who's been waiting for her surgery. Um, it's been quite a while and I can understand. She's come from very far, um, researched a lot, probably through this virtual media, as all of you can see across sitting there. She has come for um, aesthetic correction and for facial improvement, basically to get a more proportionate face, if I'm not wrong. Now, her complaints remain facial asymmetry. With asymmetry, I mean the jaw asymmetry. So if you look the face at a straight profile, we can see that the right and the left side of the face are not symmetric. Not symmetric I mean is because on the left side she has the angle of the mandible is quite pronounced um, as compared to the right side. Also, with respect to the nose, there are certain changes she's desirous of. Um, nothing specific, anything specific that with respect to the nose you said you just want a better nose. Yes. And with respect to the face, um, the cheeks can be taken care of, especially with respect to the puffiness. So planning a bichectomy for that, which is buccal pad fat removal, both sides. As far as the angle of the mandible is concerned, it's angle osteoplasty. Especially the concern for her remains on the left more than the right. A genioplasty because that would give, uh, if you can turn to one side, a better proportion, to especially to the lower one third of the face. Um, she has that uh, pouty look, however, the chin is a little broad. 
So to make it more feminine, as, as we can call it a V-shaped jawline uh, that can be improved upon. And also the nose, in her words, just make it better. That's what she desires us of. Anything else that you want to add? No. There is no breathing difficulty as such with respect to the note, no other previous surgeries that you have undergone. So this is the first ever surgery that you have been patiently waiting for. Um, it will go so well, hopefully. And um, Dr. Richardson has seen your scans, explained you everything. Okay. So we will follow it up inside the theatre and also before she goes. Thank you. So we are about to start this cosmetic rhinoplasty. Patient is desirous of a much more sharper tip. So we're going to be working on the tip. We're also going to be working on the dorsum and the radix. So we're going to plan nasal osteotomy. Going to define the nose, make it a little bit more pointy, more suitable, more matching for the face. We're also planning extension graft. Bathing grafts. Uh, because the patient has some work to be done on the septum. You can see the tip is broad. So is the rest of the nose. So we've just done this three-dimensional chin reshaping, chin contouring surgery. So we're going to show you how she looked before. That's the side view. Basically got the length more, we've made the chin pointy, you probably won't appreciate much of this like this because of the swelling, but that was what was done for her. And we're going to show you on the front view. So the, here you can very clearly see the chin was broad and also not adequately projected in the horizontal dimension and now it's much more proportional so more of a vertical augmentation and also more of a three-dimensional contouring pointy chin both done at the same time you can see there's a dip in the dorsal aesthetic line as well and we're going to rectify that with this cosmetic rhinoplasty, you can see the tip work we've done, we've narrowed it down, we've done dorsal work, we've done osteotomy, we've used septal extension graft, we've used pedal extension, pedal grafts, tip grafts, struts, marginal rim grafts, and more work on the tip than anywhere else. Very minimal dorsal augmentation as well. And uh, we're going to show you how she looked before in just a while. I'm going to start with the side view. The improvement, so you can see that the tip was very, very rounded. Yeah. And you'll appreciate that it's very broad. And you can also see the tip is broad. So we've made it very slim now. We had to have a rib though for the extra grafts that we need and for the augmentation and all for the tip tip as before. I'm gonna try and show you both the views in the same field. Just before. I'm going to try and show you both the views in the same field. We'll take a scan for you, okay, Trupti, after the this thing is removed. Chin also has been advanced because it was a little short. You wanted that, like a feminine definition. It was a little squarish. Right. Hello, everyone. We are here with this uh, young patient uh, who came back, long back actually. It's been little more than a week. 
precisely eight days almost that you're here yeah. eight to nine days because your surgery took time like the day you came it was not exactly the uh, very next day yeah so almost uh, 10 days um, for this patient who came all the uh, far, all the way from the west of the country uh, to the southernmost tip we are proceeding with the first thing which is the dinoplast removal for the lower jaw uh, that's ev that's the thing where everybody is scared of but you soaked it well okay a little bit of pressure you will feel that's it yes yes that's because this this area here is there mm -hmm. Okay, we are done. Yeah. It's the worst part is over from this side. A lot of work has been done for you on the angle. Mm -hmm. Therefore, swelling will be there. Okay. Okay. Done. You cooperated well. Now we'll start this side. This side also a little difficult part. Okay. Okay. We're done. We're done, Tripti. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the jaw is done. Next comes the nasal splint. This won't hurt you that much. You've tolerated the difficult part so well. <coughs> yeah, don't worry. This will not hurt you. It's just with the earbuds. adhesive Trupti to hold such that you can see yourself all these are tape marks okay because adhesive is there it will all get cleaned up these two blue dots are the stitches okay <laughs> the splint was there for so long so it will take some time to uh, accustom your eyes to this look of yours this look is not minus any kind of swelling. Yeah, no, no, no touching there, Sukti. All these, you see these marks, so the nose has been narrowed. The only thing which you demanded was make my nose aesthetic. About the face, you were quite specific regarding the square shapes that had to be converted into V line. Okay. Basic problem was on the left side for you because if, if I drew an angle, uh, it came straight down and then it was flat here as well. So the chin has been advanced, height has been increased. If you look on your right, on your right of the yes, if I, if I press here, this is all flaccid and this is, this, that's because swelling, work has been done. Lot of work had to be done because this was a major problem area for you. We'll show the pre-operative image and we'll get a clear clarity on this. Yes, so on the right we see the pre-op image, 10 days back, this was the same patient. And if I, if you can see in the mirror, the exact point where I'm marking, on the left side, you see the uh, mandible looks broad, the face looks broad, and it's it's coming out. It's almost very full there. 
compared to the right of your face. So that has gone inside. I know you can't appreciate 100% of the results because of the result in swelling, but we'll, sh we'll show in the scan and the scan will be proof enough for that. As far as the chin is concerned, you see your chin is very, it's like a flat line, it's broad, it's not pointy. Right now, if I contour and see, even I put my fingers, I see that it's coming to an end, pointy end. That point in time, it was quite flat and straight. We'll show other views. Yeah, yeah, side view. So you can turn to your right and you can see both the images. So you I'll see, call you'll call your brother as well, sure. So this happens to be the left side. You see the mandible is coming down and this. So this broad part has been corrected. You see the chin over here. It's come ahead. It's come ahead to the facial profile. Also not to mention the nose. Okay. You did, did not have any major uh, like a block nose kind of a thing or any like a deviated nose. But yes, it could have been made better. And that is the reason this has been done. We'll see. Uh, the splint was there that is why this is all swelling uh, this area this swelling. yes it will come down this this region it's all swelling it will come down see in fact your nose has been made narrower okay these osteotomy marks have proved that your nose has been made narrower hmm? okay. if you see here as well there's a dip here okay that has been augmented and made a straight uniform line look up Trupti your tip has been made sharp you see in this image how the alar base like this base and this so the angle you see the angle here right i'm going to show other views yeah the left side also you can turn and see to your left okay all in all you're happy you're satisfied i am i i am i, I think this mirror is something different <laughs> this this part will ease out it will ease out it will ease out see there are stitch marks over here that's because osteotomy has been done we have not done anything on the cheeks there's a resultant swelling around the area where we have operated in fact if you would have noticed uh, no, no touching there i know it's all soft it will come down it will come down around your eyes also there was bruising because of the nasal osteotomy rhinoplasty that will also settle down even where in fact along your lower jaw which is a mandible it was flabbiness and swelling that will also ease out you came a long way stayed here i know it's a different culture different place language food how was the experience in totality it was um, very different but i enjoyed it yeah different and difficult and difficult because, because you were the patient yeah. yes food was different people are here yeah, different huh. and yeah overall the but it's good. It was good. It, it was, was so good. Here to be and to get uh, associated with uh, hospitality here and uh, overall good. Yeah, overall good. So, so we can say that we have a happy patient going back home because that's what is the most important thing. Happy about your results. Um, I know that there can be dilemma in mind because they're coming from so far. Uh, they want to see quick results. They will see quick results, but healing somewhat body takes its own time. And plus adapting to a different language, staying away from home. All in all, it's difficult. But as long as the hospital uh, can make it easier and smoother for you, we'll be happy at our end. Hospital, doctors and staff are awesome. <laughs> thank you. Very thank you so much. Tech. They take care of yourself very nicely. Thank you. That's that's very kind of you. Okay, so we're looking forward to seeing you, not just right now, but even in the coming months. So we want to follow up pictures such that uh, we can have, we will be happy to hear from our patients as to what the outcome is. Say over one month, once the swelling comes down. So do stay in touch, do send in your pictures. We'll go for a scan right now. Okay? Yeah. Thank you.